Hello everybody and welcome back to the Festival Foods Kitchen. I'm Lauren and I'm so excited to be joined here today with Cindy. Cindy is our Senior Fresh Foods Specialist and she is back today to share lots of fun ideas about local Wisconsin cheeses. I am. I am so happy to be here and excited to share with you um, the different varieties. You know, we have some amazing cheese partners in Wisconsin, uh, from Belgioso to Sartori, uh, Wisconsin Greater Reserve. They are so good to us when we do special events and fundraisers. I can't say enough good about them. That's but awesome. the big thing I wanted to share today was the savings our consumers, our guests, can use when they're purchasing cheese. Uh, a couple that stand out to me is the Parmesan Reggiano. Uh, Belgioso makes an American grana. It compares beautifully. Um, there's a lot of detail into it, how it's made. They studied this. They're from mm. Italy, so they do a beautiful job rep replicating that Parmesan Reggiano. Uh, the, the Roth uh, Grand Cru is the same as uh, if you were to buy the Gruyere. Oh, okay. Just a much better savings. We have it in wow. a chunk and we have it in shredded. The other thing that is really excited is our Sartori cheese won the United States Championship oh, wow. on their Bellavitano black pepper. Um, it's just a wow for them, and I just am so happy for them. Well deserved. It's amazing. Oh, so and that's to be exciting. in a Wisconsin cheese too. That's fabulous, isn't it? You bet. The other thing, we have some great food to share, right, Lauren? Yeah. So it's more than just the cheeses. There's so many things we can do with these local Wisconsin cheeses. There are. There are, and it's so fun creating them and putting things together. We went with easy things today overall. Uh, Love the first that. one being our stuffed blue cheese dates. We used the gorgonzola, which is a creamier blue cheese from okay. um, Belgioso. It's kind of the Italian blue cheese. And all I did was stuff it. It's nice and soft. It goes in there real easy. Slit your date, stuff it, a few toasted almonds, and drizzle it with honey. Oh, my Makes gosh. a great appetizer. Looks amazing. Or dessert. Yeah. And another one is our peach caprese, and that's done with the fresh mozzarella. We've got some prosciutto in there, fresh oh, basil. Fun. Did those toasted almonds again because it gives it a whole other element. Uh, that little crunchiness with the soft cheese, and then drizzle it with a balsamic uh, vinegar. Oh, perfect. But always just a little bit of salt and pepper. Kind of important to do that with okay. a fresh mozzarella because it doesn't have a ton of flavor. Then we have our uh, citrus grill shrimp tacos. Mm. I thought it would be fun, again, to share another uh, sartori cheese with you. And what I did was grated that citrus grill, balavatano, and put that right on a shrimp taco, which has the greens and um, mango. Oh, sure. And we used a ginger dressing. Easy to make. Marinate your shrimp, grill it, throw it on the greens and mango and dressing, and it's a great shrimp taco. That's what I love about the sartori cheeses, that they come in all these different varieties. I'm a personal fan of the espresso, um, but this is so great for fish tacos or shrimp tacos in I the summer. I cannot agree more. I always have some of it in my refrigerator in case, <laughs> to, in case a guest comes and you pull out a bottle of wine. The big thing that people sometimes forget is to pull out the cheese ahead of time. Yes. 30 yep. to 60 minutes ahead to get that full flavor of the cheese. Because sometimes if it comes right out of the refrigerator, it's so cold. Sure. Just not, a, not as complimentary. We will then um, go into our Greek style yeah. skewers, kind of a salad appetizer kind of thing. I thought it would be fun for a party. Um, whether you have the guest put a skewer together like yeah. you're going to try, or you have them done ahead. So you put those together, you drizzle a little olive oil, and then a little of the fresh oregano sprinkled on top. This is the Odyssey feta that comes from Wisconsin. We happen to use the Mediterranean for this. Once again, make sure that cheese is out ahead of time. I didn't pull it out soon enough before. It did crack a little bit. You're going to get that with the feta to some degree, but if it's out a little bit, it'll, it'll be more easy to work with. Oh, you, and I love these. They're so fun. Finger food is great, especially if you're having people over. It is. And what a great cheese, too, and it's local. Absolutely, absolutely. Then we have our basil cheddar peach oh my gosh, muffins. Those sound amazing. It, you know, and you can use peach, you can use nectarines. The fun thing with so many of these recipes is use what you like, use what you have. You don't have to use feta. Uh, sure. You could use another cheese that you like. Um, that's with any recipe. Mm -hmm. Have fun with it and be creative. We have a great raspberry uh, Bellavitano salad that they shared a recipe with me from Sartori once again. I just have some greens in a bowl. I'm gonna top it with some raspberries. This is a really um, hearty salad. I've got some chicken breast. I used a flavored chicken breast out of the meat department. And I'm just gonna grab some of this shredded um, sartori raspberry cheese. Oh, I love this one. I've tried this one too. It's, it's amazing. Good. 
And then I made a dressing and it's your simple, you know, balsamic, mustard, fresh garlic. Just whisk that up a little bit. Make sure everybody can see All it. All these easy salad dressings, love that too. You know, and I, it's so funny because I always say, why do I buy bottled when they're so easy to make? But you gotta have that convenience sometimes. Yes, So definitely. you're just gonna toss this. Just look how beautiful that is. What a perfect side dish or even something to bring to a party or honestly, I would totally make this for dinner. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, and then maybe make the muffins to go with. Oh yeah, perfect. Wouldn't that be good? Now I'm not gonna toss everything right now, but I would toss it a little better right before serving. And then I would also just take a little of this cheese and sprinkle it on top for that finished topping just to make it that wow factor. And I'm guessing too, if you take the cheese out ahead of time and let it sit, it's gonna grate a lot easier, isn't it? Well, actually, for grating, um, they many times say throw it in the freezer because it grates really nice. Oh, Sometimes okay. it's so soft, it sticks to your grater. Oh, sure, so. well that's a good tip. I'm glad we talked about okay. that. Okay, we do also have a lemon cheesecake with fresh fruit. Uh, this is, happens to be gluten-free, there's no crust. It is so good and so light. Oh my gosh, I've had my eye on this too. Looks delicious, but I think I need to go in for one of these dates. Um, they just look absolutely amazing, so I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. That sweetness paired with that nice, creamy, salty flavor of the cheese, these are to die for. <laughs> Good to hear. Great Thank to you hear. so much, Cindy. And if you're looking for some of these ideas or more information about our local Wisconsin cheeses, just visit festfoods.com.